really get that chance to play in a lot of a lot of the big game minutes and, and all that tonight 35 minutes uh, you have a pretty efficient scoring night uh, what did it feel like to just get all of that burn and, and get a chance to settle into a game um uh just gave me a chance to be myself um i feel like that's you know where i'm the most comfortable just going out there and playing my game uh so yeah it was just a, a great feeling to go out there and 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 you know not think as much as i do and just play <clears throat> JJ said he's not, you know, concerned about what a point total is, good or bad, or he just thinking about how to continue to, to develop you into a great player ultimately. Um, but at the same time, you know, it feels good to be on the court, scoring points, like hitting shots. And how, how are you balancing that? As, as you know, yeah, you do enjoy that, but you're still thinking about the bigger picture for this year. Yeah, I mean, like I've told you, just you know, trying to focus on what my role is and excelling at that. Um, but yeah, if I'm given the opportunity to go out there and play 35 minutes, then I'm, you know, going to go out there and play. So uh, I feel like I'll be given an amazing opportunity to go and, you know, showcase what I can do down the road. Uh, if that's not right now, if that's not what he wants me to do right now. Um, so, yeah, it's just a, a great moment for me. <clears throat> hey, Brian, a couple for you. Um, we just had Quincy in here and was really emotional about the opportunities he's had with this organization and what it meant to him to have that game in front of staff um what's it been like kind of working with him since you've been here um you guys connected on that lob today it seems like you guys have some kinship yeah i mean in practice I, we're always together and uh uh our like you know other team playing against the starters and stuff so we've uh built that connection off the court uh well on the court but off the the uh you know arena hard floor so you know, just building that connection with him. He's a great guy. I mean, I love playing with him. Um, great spirit. You know, he plays hard all the time. So it's uh, it was great that, we, you know, we were both given that opportunity to go out there and, and showcase what we could do. That, and that was the second thing I was going to ask was, like, opportunity. When, when you know, you know it's, it's, it's hard, I'd imagine, not knowing when the tap would come during games or how much you're going to be out there and trying to find a rhythm. But, like, knowing what it was going to be like today, what, what was pregame like for you? Were you even a different level locked in, um, a different level of excited because you knew you were going to get a real, a real long runway? Um, no, not necessarily. Um, we always have these games in, in, in our practices, the stay ready games that um, you know the the rotation guys or non rotation guys play. Uh, so I just you know try to prepare my, myself every every game we have uh, the same way, so I can you know stay ready for those those opportunities. <laughs> Ronnie, what does this give you just going into the next stage of, of the season to be finishing off preseason with, with this performance personally? Um, again, like I said to you, just a, l a little bit of confidence <clears throat> uh, going into the season. Um, even though I, you know, might not be in that rotation, not be not might be playing, uh, but just going into practice, maybe G League games um, with that, you know, confidence in myself to go out there and, and play my game. I feel like that's biggest parts tonight. And we saw Steph on the court with you conversing a bit <clears throat> after the game. Anything about that message? I mean, I've seen him, you know, last year coming up to you at a Lakers game when you were in the stands, you know, checking, you know, checking in with you. But what was the message today? Uh, just catching up, but mainly just, you know, him telling me to play, play my game and be myself. Um, also just giving some pointers on, you know, things to do uh, in certain situations, but nothing, nothing too crazy. <clears throat> oh, well, Brownie, where do you where do you think you've made the biggest strides since day one of, of preseason? Um, what areas do you feel like you've gained maybe the most comfort? Um, I'd say just like you know, JJ has always emphasized uh, being a menace on the defensive end and being disruptive. Uh, so just taking pride and you know picking up uh, full court and. You know, guarding guys like Buddy Heald. He's running all over the place. Um, but yeah, just taking pride on the defense end is my biggest thing, I think.